Discuss the adaptations of the female reproductive system of humans. Elastic uterine walls. To expand so as to accommodate the growing fetus, muscular foot of the pelvis and bladder support the weight of the growing fetus. Funnel-shaped ends of the oviduct. Direct the ova released to the uterus. Muscular uterine walls. Contract and relax to expel the fetus at birth. Long vaginal canal. Allow sufficient entry of penis to avoid wastage of sperms. The two ovaries maximize chances of releasing ovum after every circle. Ovaries are well vascularized. Contract and relax to expel the fetus at birth. Long vaginal canal. Allow sufficient entry of penis to avoid wastage of sperms. The two ovaries maximize chances of releasing ovum after every circle. Ovaries are well vascularized have good blood supply. To ensure nourishment of cells involved in oogenesis or egg formation, high number of potential mother cells ensures maximum number of ova which develop to maturity, plenty of yolk in egg cells, which nourish the fetus before the placenta becomes functional. The vitellin membrane of the ovum thickens after fertilization, preventing further entry of sperms. The oviduct wall is able to contract in order to facilitate movement of ovum down the oviduct. Has cilia to waft the ovum forward. Wall of the vagina vulva produce mucus. To lubricate the penis during copulation. Clitoris has many nerve endings. To provide maximum stimulation during copulation for maximum ejaculation and faster movement of spermatozoa. Max 20 MKS. 24. Describe the process of gaseous exchange in terrestrial plants. Gaseous exchange occurs in the spongy mesophyll. During the day, air diffuses into large air spaces of the spongy mesophyll through the stomata. The carbon oxide in the air diffuses into photosynthetic cells in solution form. During photosynthesis, carbon oxide is used up. While oxygen is produced, some of the oxygen is used in respiration while the rest diffuses out of the leaf, through the stomata. During the night, air diffuses into the air spaces, through the stomata. The air dissolves into the film of moisture. Oxygen in the air diffuses into the cells, and is used for respiration. Carbon oxide produced, diffuses out through stomata, due to a concentration gradient diffusion gradient, at night. Carbon oxide accumulates in the leaf since photosynthesis does not occur. Some gaseous exchange also takes place through the cuticle and through the epidermis of young leaves, roots and stems. Some plants exchange gases through breathing roots nematophores. Older stems exchange gases through lenticels. Max 20 MKS. 25. How is the mammalian gaseous exchange system adapted to its functions? Nasal cavity, as cells that produce mucus, that together with hair cilia, trap and propel dust microbes to the pharynx to be breathed out swallowed. Cavity is supplied with capillaries, that warm the air for faster flow in the channels. Epiglottis, covers the trachea during swallowing, so that particles of food and water may not enter the trachea. Trachea and bronchi, have cartilage rings, to keep the passages open prevent them from collapsing so that air moves in and out freely and continuously. Are also lined with mucous membranes, which have hairs ciliated, whose movement wafting push out dust particles collected in the passages into the pharynx, richly supplied with blood vessels, to warm the air. For faster flow, lungs have numerous alveoli. To increase the surface area for gaseous exchange, alveoli have a thin epithelium. To reduce the distance through which gases diffuse for easier and faster diffusion, alveoli are moist. To dissolve oxygen for faster transport, lungs are spongy. Because of many air sacs that contain a large amount of volume of air, lungs are also supplied with many blood vessels. For transportation of gases, they are also supplied with a network system of trachea, bronchi, and bronchioles.